Welcome guys, how are you all doing at home? We together are Kettlebell Body Fit. I am Ed. I'm Kerry. And today's circuit for you is going to be four exercises, but one of them is a little treat. Yes, it's neat. It's what we call a long cycle. A long cycle. So it's basically multiple moves slammed into one. So for that, we're only going to do five on our left, five on our right. And when we get to it, you'll see why. But other than that, it's going to be our standard 10, ten left, ten. 10 right. And the moves are, so our swing, two rack and lunge, our halo, the dead side clean to switch and press. That's our long cycle. That's the long cycle, you can tell. And now four. And then the last one, number four, is going to be a rack squat. Normally you're probably used to us doing goblet squat. But you can see the variety, and that's kettlebell in the right hand for 10, yeah. and then we change it around for 10 in the left. So as always, any of these moves that you don't know, go back and check early videos where our tutorials and teaching points will enable you to do the circuit. Um, any questions at all, please feel free to DM us through Instagram or message us through the YouTube channel. Yeah, comments, we'll get back to you Like and subscribe, and Kerry, you're going to do the the accounting, the and I'm going to try and talk our way through all of this as best can. There we go. So without further ado, you can do four, five, six rounds of this 60 seconds rest, as always. So our kettlebell is going to start bum towards bum, and we're going to start up though in our rack position. Right, so swing to rack and lunge. Three, two, one, and off we go. There we go, that one. one. Two. Pushing back. So I'm already showing slight variation of how you can do this. A little bit more of a pause. Or step back, initiate that swing. Six. So it's that punch forward. Seven. Your one-handed kettlebell swing. Eight. And as the kettlebell travels forward, the opposite leg Nine. to the right side travels forward. Ten. And we're going to put the kettlebell down into the dead to swap to the other side. Yep. So left hand rack, right leg is the step into our lunge, and three, two, one. Pull it into that rack. Ooh, balance there on the other two. leg. Always tricky. Always tricky. Three. three. So still the same rules apply, guys, as you swing. Four. And get that kettlebell into that rack position. Elbow in tight. Six. You're going to work your glutes, your bottom, Seven. your thighs, your quads. Eight. Abs tight all the time. Nine. Last one. <sighs> Ten. And down she goes. Obviously, when you do that, make sure everyone's around you. Yep. That's really a good move. Indeed. Always worth well checking your surroundings. Before you start doing any of these circuits, check there's no you know, people, kids, children, kids, cats, whatever. Yes, obstacles, they get hurt. Number two is our halo. So the kettlebell guys, I'm on 16. I'm going to sort down to six for this. A little bit of a lighter one. Brush your shoulders, brush your arms, the front and back, all the time. Your abs, your middle, your love handles, your obliques, finger and thumb pinch, and the horns. Hold it up. And we're going to rotate for 10, off to the right. Three, two, one, and off we go. So as that weight goes around your head, in that halo shape, you will feel that kettlebell wanting to pull you over. You can't balance. So you feel that Six. circular wave, as it were, Seven. around your middle. Eight. Don't move the body. Nine. Or try it. Not two, and back way. we go. <laughs> right. So if you've got two. one of those old watches with the old long hand and small hand, what way are we going? Clockwise or anti-clockwise? Six. Yeah, no one knows the individuals. Just say left or right. Squeeze middle. Nine. Oh. Ten. You feel that into your shoulders. It's important to see as well. Move the uh, kettlebell around your head and not... Dip in your head. <laughs> yeah. You, you, once you try that one, you'll figure out exactly what Carrie's talking about there. Because quite often people try to like, move their head around the kettlebell a little bit. 
So try to behave as still as you can <laughs> and with the kettlebell around it. Defeats the purpose, doesn't it? Yeah. So you're stepping up to your 10. I'm going to step up to 10 for this. So this is our long cycle, guys. Yeah. So it's our dead side, clean, to switch and press. So go back to our videos, see how it's done, and you'll know why we're only doing five of these. <laughs> Thumb towards bum, left knee bent, three, two, one, and. See? Come on. Drive that leg, push again. Come in, <laughs> back. Look at the focus we required. <sighs> so when you press that kettlebell, guys, straight, Four. maybe, Keep your eyes on that kettlebell because you'll think your arm is straight. So you don't. Ah, oh, carry on. I know you should set it. Over there. Right hand. Five. Bum towards bum. I'm trying to get all the legs this time. Yeah, that might be a better idea. Three, two, one, and. One. Push on it. Two. So as you see, this lead is helping me. Three. Push press or overhead press. That weight. Four. And also the transition from the bend to the straight helps as well. Now you know why we didn't do 10 and 10. That's a great long cycle move. More bang for your buck. So let's move that kettlebell back into the middle for our fourth and final exercise on the circuit. Little rack squat. Rack squat. So we start right? That's right. Right side, so we can clean the kettlebell up. Thumb towards bottom. Push goes. So ankles are in reasonably close, not stupidly close. And keep that elbow in tight. Breathe in on the way down. Breathe out on the way up. Three, two, one. Off we go. Keep your middle two. tight all the time, guys. Three. You're going to get a real good Four. squeeze through the glutes. Tight for your tushy, push from the outside of your toes, pull inside your heels, turn, let's step. That way you stop the knees buckling in. Maybe a booty band yeah, might okay. help drill the skill. It's going to force you to force your knees out. If you are going to do that, probably practice that one outside of the circuit. Yeah. Ready? Left hand, cleaned, and in. One, squat, <sighs> middle, tight, squeeze, glutes, push, ground away, keep that back, straight, Seven. at all times, Eight. don't do the jump, unless you want to, of course, yes. and there's the ten, Woo! that jump was just for display purposes only, so once again, oh, one circuit, yeah. Four exercises. Five minutes. Yeah, that was Five, six. Take a rest. Take a rest. 16, 80 seconds, maybe we fitness levels. Hit it again. And then, yeah, just do any video again. Five, six. Get in there, get it done. You get so much benefit from working with kettlebells. You get your fat burn, you get your tone, you get your cardio. You also increase memory dexterity. Indeed. And that's a bit more blah 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 for another day for you. So, thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, follow YouTube, Instagram. Ah. Until next time, guys, it's Ed signing out from Kettlebell Body Fit. Okay.